Welcome to Ditch the Nest. This is Jennifer, and I'm Lainey. Together, during COVID in 2021, we bought a house in Italy sight unseen from the internet. These videos will be about the adventure of traveling to Italy, seeing our house for the first time, fixing it up, and becoming part of the community in Santa Maria Oliveto. Join us on the adventure. It's going to be a blast. So, how did we get from North Carolina to Santa Maria Oliveto in the province of Molise, Italy? When we met, we both wanted to spend our empty nest years as nomads moving from home to home throughout the globe. We started looking at real estate listings in Europe and dreaming. And then we refined what exactly was was that we wanted from a home. It needed to be as move-in ready as possible, but Eleni originally wanted to buy a complete fixer-upper. We soon saw the value of not fixing up anything. We wanted a village with amenities like a cafe we could walk to. We wanted a store in the village that we could shop at. You know, the simple stuff. So one day, a property shows up with an amazing view. And the village is small, but according to Apple Maps, it has a hotel, a cafe, and a store. It's not as picturesque as some places we looked at, but the view from the garden was amazing. And the courtyard where the front door is located is beautiful. So we Google stalk the village with Street View and decide to make an offer. Our offer was accepted and three months later in March 2020, yes, at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, we officially owned our little slice of heaven in Santa Maria Alvetto. We chose to name the house Giorni Soligiate, which is Italian for sunny days. But when could we go there? We did not know. Soon vaccination started and in May 2020, we heard that the border was opening and so we bought tickets that very night and we waited impatiently for July 3rd so that we could leave. The trip to Italy itself was pure chaos. Our flight was delayed five hours in New York and then when we got to the gate, we actually needed proper boarding passes because we had to get our temperature taken at one place and stamped and then return to the line and then our documents reviewed to board the plane. Laney had thrown out his boarding pass and we had to get another one reprinted at the gate. So it was all over the place. Finally, three hours later, they closed the doors and we took off. The next day we woke up in Italy. We got our rental car and drove to our home, but as we approached the door for the first time, this is exactly what we saw. This is so much smaller than I thought it was, this little oh, yes. turn. No, well, I knew it was small. The next day, we drove uh, to San Salvo and we got the keys and saw this as we opened the door. Before we go any farther, I think it's important that we take note of that shower. That is the craziest shower I have ever seen. I don't know, maybe not the craziest, but getting in and out of that thing is an adventure. Trying to wash in it, it's, I think it's meant to sit down, but I'm 6'4 and I struggle to climb in and out of it. It's so tall. Uh, more on the shower later, but uh, I had to call it out. So one of the big selling points for the house was the garden. And I'll put a little picture of what was in the uh, advertisement right above. The garden's amazing, and it is amazing today. Jennifer did an amazing job cleaning it out. But the first time we saw it overgrown like that was such a shock. Uh, there is a small trap door which leads to a cistern. But, you know, it looked like this metal door with this big giant metal ring. And I had all these uh, uh, hopes that it went down to something really awesome. Uh, so one of the first things I did in the house was ran downstairs and tried to open that door. And it would only open about three inches because of all the brambles. 
but today it is awesome. Jennifer sits out there a lot. I haven't spent a lot of time there, but it's beautiful today. Just a little scary then. Needless to say, it's not exactly what we thought we were getting and we were not in necessarily the best of moods that very first day. But we picked ourselves up and dug into the work, cleaning the house that hadn't been lived in for at least 10 years, throwing away trash left by someone who's passed on and restoring our new home. In the end, we fell in love with it all over again. During the journey, we made great friends and our very first home together. We hope you will watch future episodes and join us as we share more details of our journey from Raleigh to Giorni Solidiate.